Okay, builders, Andy is here, and welcome back to City Building episode 13. And in this episode, we are going to be building a road junction. Let's do this. Okay, what I want to do is use the UTP texture pack, first of all, and I'm going to be counting. So I'm going to go from here, and I'm going to count out 39 blocks between my red markers. There's 32, 38, 39. Boom. Let me double check. Yeah, that's 39 and then 29 this way. This junction is designed by Hakon, one of the admins on the server. That is 29. What a good guess. And over here, well, we can just line these up, actually. We want to place one right about there. And that lines up perfectly. So, yeah, this is going to be a road junction. A slightly wider road here and here. And a slightly narrower road there and there and what we're going to do is just keep on building this road until it is complete right what i want to do here is put down the main material of my road now if you haven't got a texture pack you can't do what i'm going to do so that's like set 201,357. I've got these blocks in this texture pack, the UTP texture pack. You can download it off andyzora.com, link in the description. If you haven't got it, just choose maybe black stained clay, maybe you've got black wool, whatever you want, but put your road blocks down um, like so. Right, good. Now, once you've done that, what I'm going to do is put, um, leave those there and then carry on and put some stone bricks there. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. Hello. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. And then one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five. And that makes a little spot for a tree. And over here, a little spot for a tree as well. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five like that and then we can carry on this let's just put another nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and of course you can change that corner block boom so really it's ten of these if you include the corner block so that gives us one corner and let's put this down here one two three four five six seven eight nine nine would do and you can put another tree there you see you can go on and do another tree what we can do is now set the ground here uh, to the same road material. Let's just go to here, should do. Boom, boom, there we go, road material done. Um, what next? So we've got four corners. If I just do one corner and get that set, what I can do is copy and paste those corners to the other side. Um, what I want to do is make a cycle path. This is the wide road here. On the 39 wide road, we want to make a cycle path. Um, so this cycle path is going to go right here. I'm going to use red, red hardened clay. Red hardened clay to make the cycle path. If you're out late night cycling, do watch out for cycle paths because they, they, they're, they're very different from cycle paths. Gotta watch out for psychopaths. Right, block of quartz is gonna wrap round. Let me just use the wooden shovel to paint this in with a bit of world edit. Hi to the guests, we've got awesome Maddox, very stripy, look at that. He's wearing a kind of two-piece white and blue top with gray pants, looking very fetching indeed. And then, where's the other boy? He's running away, oh well. Um, his moment, his moment was there, but he didn't, he didn't take it, did he? He didn't take that moment. Let's wrap this all the way around. Oh, by the way, we can do this road as well. Set this road up as well. Whatever road material you have chosen. Boom, like that. And let's wrap this, so wrap this quartz. So this is quartz, this white quartz. You could use snow, uh, but I'm gonna use quartz. So this is Hakon's design, one of the moderators on the server. Uh, this is his road design, and I think it's a really cool design. Alrighty, so uh, the trees are going to go in there. Um, I've got special magic commands, so I can do instant, instant trees. <laughs> ah, instant trees! Right, what I want is some coarse dirt next, and we're going to just plant some dirt around the place. Um, first of all, I think I'm going to make this pavement a little bit, a sidewalk a little bit wider with another layer here of stone bricks like that. That's looking pretty, 
pretty fancy, I must say. Um, yeah, I like this, I like this, I like this. And then we're going to go for four star. This isn't exactly um, Hakon's plan, but it's kind of my adaptation of his junction like that. And then four star along here like this. And dun, 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 like that. Um, so what do we want to do? We want to go three bits of coarse dirt there, I think. That would look kind of cool. And then two, and then one like that. So it just comes down like that sort of shape here. And then just bring this along. And then over here, we want to do exactly the same thing. So it goes three, two, one. That sort of shape like that. And then just fill these. So this is going to be a little flower border at the side of the road, like that. Just finish those off like that. And then we can use some bone meal. Oh, why can't I bone meal that? Really? Is that is that actually a thing? We can't bone meal coarse dirt? <gasps> Are you kidding me? I have to plant things by hand? I have to do hard work, manual labor? What? No. Oh well. Plant your plants, could be formal, could be messy. I'm gonna go for messy. Wow, that's hard work. I'm doing that again. Right, now I wanna choose three blocks to fill this little sidewalk area in. And you want it finish your sidewalk or make the size of it. Well, it's kind of up to you how big you make your sidewalk, but I would go for something like what I'm about to do. Um, what other block do we want? Let me go for some sort of moss. No, moss. Where's moss stone? Where would moss stone? Let's search for it. Moss stone. There we go. So you want to make your sidewalk about, hmm, I would say on, on on the two where you've got two blocks of dirt like that I would I would say you bring your sidewalk out to here so that's how big your sidewalk would be so your sidewalk continues on like that and it continues on like that so what you have here um, where let's just put some yellow the yellow would be where you put your buildings for your city so your city buildings would be the yellow. So that would continue on and continue on in those sort of directions. So um, let's just bring this up to here. Seal that off. And bring this up to here. Seal that off like that. Okay, so what I can actually do now is just fill this in with certain... Uh, blend of blocks um, that we could use for our sidewalk or pavement. So I'm going to choose these blocks. So it's 48, 1, and 1, 3. So slash slash set 48, comma 1, comma 1, 3. It'll give us a nice blended sidewalk. I hope you uh, agree. And we can go right to there. Good, good, good. And these ones I'm just going to kind of do by hand and grab some of this diorite as well or diarrheaite as I normally like to call it there we go and there is your sidewalk one more to go in there so there we've got our nice junction indeed I hope you agree notice there's no there's no uh, psychopath on that one the only psychopath is lurking about here ready to get you so, automatics is where the buildings would be. Obviously, your building plot would continue on like that, and your building plot would continue on like that. You've got a nice, big, wide sidewalk, plenty of trees. So that is one corner. What we need to do is put this corner, this corner, on all three of the other sides. So be right back when that is done. So there we go, a junction's looking kind of half done, really, not too bad. And really the only counting was the distance from, let's mark it from that block to this block was 39. And the distance between that block and that block was 29. 
and then we need to count another nine uh, stair blocks and then we put our tree um, what other counting did we need to do oh yes there was these three blocks and then two blocks there for the cycle path that's where it started everything else pretty much doesn't need to be counted. So I like this junction. You can do it again in the game without thinking, um, as long as you've got those first few numbers correct. Good, right, what I have done is mark in the middle here. Um, this is white wool. I might actually go to, let's stick to quartz. It's a nice, it's a much brighter block. So there's the quartz, and we're gonna bring this uh, line up here like that. Um, this is the, the wide one. This is the avenue. This is actually quite a big, quite a big uh, middle section to the road. And what I'm going to do is just use some slabs, stone brick slabs like this. And they're going to come along like that. Don't worry about how far up they come just now. Let's just bang down some of them and we'll kind of work out where to finish doing this in a second. So this is kind of a central median, is what they would definitely call it. Central reservation, they would call it in the UK, or an island, or the, or the median, the center median, is probably what they would call it in America. Right, what I actually want to do is bring it up as far as the psychopath. Sorry, why do I keep calling it psychopath? It's just wrong, 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 wrong on so many levels. Let's just take that out. Yeah, so it's going to come across. So that lines up right there. And you can continue this white line down the side of the central median like that. The great thing about this central median is you could put more trees in it. You could um, kind of divide it up where there's crossings for people to cross halfway down, you could put bollards, you could put fences, you could put whatever you want in detail on that little half slab area. Now what we do want to do is make a, like a pedestrian crossing, like a zebra crossing. One of those things like this where you go, you have the stripes, you have the stripes in the road. So what I want to do is aim that stripe to there. So it's actually, let's count as one, two, three, four, five, Five stripes like that, five blocks long. So bring your stripes over like this. Now this should end really nicely, hopefully. Yes, I think that's gonna work out. Yeah, that works out nicely. So if you start there and continue on, you don't get the meeting like that. It just doesn't doesn't happen. So let's continue like that. Painting white lines with Andy. It's like watching paint dry. <laughs> uh, boom, 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 and that should end up really nicely. So great design by Hakon. What a great builder. Um, that is looking like a really cool junction. So that's where you cross if you're a, a pedestrian. <laughs> um, so this kind of starts on that brick there. Same round the corner. It's going to start on that one. One, two, three. It's gonna be this way though. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Okay, and this is continues across the road as well. Keep going. And then we're gonna to have to do the, the lines for the traffic. Now I was a bit confused by Hakon's decision um, with, with, with some of the lines that he put on. So I'm going to have to make a little improvement over his design. So you need to decide which side of the road you're driving on. Are you driving on the right or are you driving on the left? I think since most of my viewers are in America, I'm going to say we drive on the right, which means you approach this junction on this side of the road, which means that you're going to need to stop around about here, like so. <laughs> There we go. So the line is going to come across uh, there. No, let's not do it there. Let's do it here. One, two, three, four, five. Would that do? Yeah. And then just come down here. What I want to do is divide this road up into two uh, sections. So how about if we go to there? Does that divide it up into two nice sections? 
So this is this road here. Ah, this road here is six, and this road here is six. So that divides that road up there very neatly indeed. In fact, what I would probably do is just extend this across like that. So there you go. You come to the end of that road, and you have to you have to stop. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. So there's two lanes on the right-hand side, and they both come to a stop right there. Good. Now, um, over on this road, um, no lines over here, of course. Absolutely no lines across there, because that's, that's where you drive in. You drive on the right, so you drive into there. Over on this side, uh, the same. We want to make this stop. This is where you stop the traffic. So I'm going to have the road come across there right back and then right in the middle we need to divide this up again so is that going to be the middle one two three five six seven one two three four five six Ooh, that's interesting that's really interesting why is that an uneven amount discovered a slight flaw in my plan this can't be in the middle because i've put the cycle path a little bit too narrow i'm going to make the cycle path three blocks wide so sorry about that if you've already done a lot of this but stick to Hakon's design cycle path three blocks wide he was probably laughing at me going oh Andy <laughs> you've been making a mistake you've been making a mistake so let me just repair that and then everything works out nicely once you have done that let me just put this white line back in unfortunately <laughs> same on the other side I nearly started to record the entire video again, but please forgive me. <laughs> a little mistake. I thought, no, I just, ah, I'm not starting the whole video again. <laughs> really, really kind of be doing that. So just gonna repair this mistake like that. It's an honest mistake. Honest, 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 honest. So there we go. Our cycle paths are big enough, which means that this line, when I put it here, makes one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, six wide roads on that side. And let's just bring this down. Um, doesn't matter how far. Five, six, seven, or eight, something like that. So there we go. That is our junction like that. Um, what I need to do is put these uh, crossings and the junctions on this other side. Be right back when that is done. Now, what I've also taken the time to do, once the zebra crossings are in place, is put some traffic lights in. And I found some really nice player heads. Let me kind of show you where the player heads are, and I'll show you how to build. Look at those player heads. Aren't they the best? I'm sorry, I don't know how to get them into single player or your version of Minecraft. I only know how to get them on my server, so it kind of doesn't really help you very much at all. But I'll show you two versions of how to build these uh, with or without the, the player heads. So I'm going to go for some nether bricks, some sort of nice grey, dull, boring brick, and then some cobblestone wall, mossy cobblestone wall. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, if you're building in your own texture pack, then you can just choose something similar so bringing this boom right across here you might argue that's a little low you could go for higher if you want probably higher would be better but i'm just going to go with these traffic lights how far to bring it out i would say if you're doing it exactly the same as me kind of in line with that first black gap there and then i'm going to put on some black wool like that and some black wool for this one as well good right so over here, I think I've got traffic lights which are uh, stop. So these ones are stop and stop. So over here, we need to have go and go. And I've got ones which are off here. Let me grab that head. Like that. Uh, off, 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 off. So they would be go, you see, on that side and go on the opposite side as well. Now, if you haven't got the, these little cool player heads, what you could do is just use some item frames and you can go red stained glass for um, stop and green stained glass for go and so on. If you're very sneaky, you've probably got this little player head as well, which could be for the pedestrian crossing as well, um, or it could just be for um, you know, when you, when sometimes when you're sitting at the lights, you can't see the ones up there, so you have to look at the ones down there. And I know it's in France, they have these little ones here. Maybe not so often uh, in the UK. 
And so that is traffic lights. There we go. So let's uh, destroy all this. And I think we are probably a done deal with this episode today. We've got our little traffic. I just love these traffic lights. I think they're just fantastic. Let's just finish this off for completeness. Um, is that these ones off and off? Good. What you could do as well, since this is stop over here, you could put on a little filter by, by doing that, I think. And then, is that the green? You could do a little filter like that as if you could come up to this junction and you could still turn right um, as well. But big thanks and shout out to Hakon who has designed this junction. I think it's great to meet kind of a, an avenue, double uh, lined road, uh, double width road with a slightly smaller road as well. What a beautiful junction that is made. Hey, if you've enjoyed this um, city building episode, then please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already because there's going to be a city building episode out every single Monday. We're nearly ready to move on to Minecraft 1.12, which means a brand new map where a lot of these roads are going to be in place. That's a basic junction. There's lots of other things you can do as well. If you've got any ideas of what we could add to this junction, let me know in the comments and we might put that in in next week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Very much appreciated indeed. Ciao, ciao. May the blocks be with you.